Is Bali worth visiting in 2023? Bali came to international attention in 2010, thanks to the hit film Eat. Pray. Love. Foreign visitors to the island increased exponentially every year, from less than 3 million in 2012 to over 6 million in 2019. Some bloggers and travel influencers started portraying Bali in a very bad light near the end of the decade. They claimed that there were too many visitors on the island, making it an unattractive place to vacation. Although we recognize that Bali can occasionally be a bit busy, we genuinely enjoyed our trip there in 2018 and 2019. When tourist numbers were at their peak, this would have been the case. There is no doubt that with less people, our experience might have been even better. In our opinion, the pros outweigh the cons. As long as you have realistic expectations, you will love Bali too. Reasons to visit Bali in 2023 1. You must visit Bali because of the fantastic food. Bali is worth visiting because of its wonderful cuisine. You won't be let down whether you choose a Balinese dish or a more conventional Western lunch. Families will find Bali to be quite convenient because it's very simple to pick meals that everyone will like. Favorite Balinese dishes including sate, meat skewers, Balinese curry, meat slash vegetable stew, bobby guling, slow roasted pig, and nasi goreng are available in every city, fried rice. 2. Bali's Natural Wonders one of the world's most naturally gorgeous locales is Bali. There are many beautiful locations to visit that are typically not too busy so that you can appreciate and explore the surroundings, even though the crowds at major sites might be overpowering. 3. Due to its affordability, you should visit Bali. We chose Bali for our honeymoon partly because we were practically penniless right out of college. However, we were aware that once we arrived in Bali, travel would be extremely inexpensive. Even though Bali may be the most pricey location in Indonesia, it is still less expensive than any location in Europe, North America, or East Asia. The price of the flight to Bali itself is the lone exception. Tickets from Asia or Oceania are inexpensive, but those from the Americas or Europe might cost between $500 and $1,000. 4. You ought to go to Bali because you can stay in lovely, inexpensive villas. We spend relatively little on lodging while yet getting to stay in beautiful villas all across Bali, which is one of the reasons we love to stay and travel there for extended periods of time. In Bali, we can frequently get a large accommodation with air conditioning, Wi-Fi, complimentary breakfast, and access to a pool for less than $30 per night. A luxurious villa with all the bells and whistles costs only approximately $100 per night if you have a little more money. 5. There is something for everyone in Bali, therefore you should go there. Bali is fantastic for all kinds of travelers. You can't go wrong with a trip to Bali, regardless of your preferred style of travel. There is truly something to enjoy on the island, thanks to its large range of activities. We can promise you won't be bored when visiting Bali. 6. Bali is worth visiting for the beaches. Beautiful beaches can be found in Bali. Online, a lot of people have expressed the opposite opinion, claiming that Bali's tourist ports destroy the scenery. We can understand why this may be the case. Sincere to say, we believe that many people's unrealistic expectations destroy it for them. Changgu and Kuta are highly well liked by tourists. Additionally, Uluwadu's beaches are not particularly large and can feel crowded. However, we have always cherished Bali's beaches. Bali's beaches are renowned for their huge surf and their coarse, golden sand. They have lots of activities and are lovely and vibrant. Duh. 7. Bali is a destination open year-round. The monsoon season is well known throughout Southeast Asia. Typically, this happens in the summer, mid-May to October. One of the few places that is the reverse is Bali. Bali's wet season lasts from November to March. Even Bali's wet season is not nearly as awful as it is in other parts of Asia. For instance, you can anticipate at least three downpours lasting a few hours each day during Sri Lanka's monsoon season. However, there are fewer and further between downpours throughout Bali's rainy season. Is Bali overrated? Although social media has given individuals cause to have inflated expectations about Bali travel, Bali is not overrated. When people finally get the chance to see the places they've seen professionally portrayed on Instagram, it's inevitable that they'll feel let down. Don't be hesitant to travel to Bali. Hello there.